Hey guys, today I thought I would do a video on something that I took a class on in beauty school and I just find that it's it's kind of like one of those lesser talked about things in when it comes to beauty and stuff like that. Um, and that is how to pick your eyelashes, your false lashes obviously because you can't pick the eyelashes you were born with, um, according to like your face shape, your features, your eyes, that kind of thing. So, because um, a lot of times I feel like F false lashes or fake lashes are kind of abused like people just tend to stick them on and not even care about like the shape of them or whether they flatter you or not and I've definitely done that as well like I kind of gave up on false lashes a long time ago because I just never could f could figure out what eyelashes suited my face shape better and I couldn't understand why they didn't look as good on me as say like my friend you know so um, I just wanted to talk about that because it's something I learned um, last year when I went to beauty school and I, I finally figured it out and I was like, oh my god, this makes so much sense. I was sent a couple of lashes um, by, just lashes by Jamal Buster, I love that name, <laughs> Jamal Buster, um, and these are super popular in the States right now, I believe. Apparently this guy, Jamal Buster, is super popular and he's a big celebrity over there. Um, he works with a lot of celebrities actually. He um, has teamed up with Rihanna, Beyonce, people like that. So big superstars. Um, so his brand is loved in the States and now it's coming over here to Ireland and the UK. So I'll link the website down below um, in the description box. But anyways, he's got a couple of different eyelash, false lashes and I wanted to show you guys a couple of them and just talk about which ones would work for what face shapes and what kind of face types. So um, let's start with me. I have a square face shape and I have quite masculine features. Now some of you guys may not agree with me um, or may, yeah some of you guys may disagree but I have learned to kind of style like my hair, my um, makeup that I wear just everything that I do, like even earrings I wear, things like that, to work with my face shape. So sometimes it looks a lot more square than it actually is. So I find like for my face shape, because it's quite a masculine shape, and you'll find that the square and the rectangular shape, because they're the most angular, they are more masculine. So if you are either of these, if you fall into this category, you may find that your features like your nose, your lips, um, your eyes, your cheekbones, they're quite masculine. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just like, kind of fact. Now it won't occur all the time, but for me it definitely does. I have my dad's features, I have like a bigger nose, bigger like fuller lips, um, big cheeks <laughs> that kind of stick out. And um, for that reason, I tend to stick with lashes like these. Now these are the Whisper lashes, they are probably the um, simplest and the most kind of appropriate for daytime that there are. Uh, the other ones that I really like are Looking for Love, which are these ones right here. They're quite simple and um, classic, but they do come out a little bit at the ends. These are probably my favorite, um, these and the Whisper to wear. And I find that that's because if I go and choose a really powerful, bold lash, I am going to completely just bring out all the masculinity in my face and it's just too harsh on my face, I just look like a drag queen. And this is something that I've learned from even applying makeup. If I apply too much makeup, I look like a drag queen. I'm not messing with you guys, like that is true. On the other hand, if you are like my sister and my mom, if you have an oval shaped face, or even a round shape, face shape, <laughs> Um, you should go for the opposite because you are basically the opposite of square and rectangle because um, you have probably softer features, you don't have such harsh cheekbones and jawline as the square and rectangle. Um, you kind of want to bring that into your face so you can definitely have fun with the bolder lashes. Now this one is sold out show and you can see that they're quite bold. And then we have here bold and beautiful. Now these are super bold, so these are definitely just for nighttime or just like a big event that you're doing. So um, keep that in mind. Then if you have a heart shaped face, when you have a broader forehead and a smaller chin, go for something that's flicked out and gets longer at the ends. So something like looking for love, like I mentioned before, 
it's kind of tapered at the ends and it sticks out a little bit. That's why if you ever notice, I know I mentioned Marilyn Monroe when I talked about heart shaped faces. Um, they look a lot better because she looked a lot better wearing the tapered out lashes and she she always did she didn't wear anything like this like bold and beautiful um, and that suited her a lot better because it was just tapered out and it kind of flattered her face shape so definitely keep that in mind so I hope this video will help you guys um just a little bit about the lashes they do come with their own glue so I find that really good um, I will try and use these in a tutorial, it's just that I don't really wear lashes during the day. Um, but they come with glue inside and they come really nicely packaged actually and you can use them again and again. So hopefully this will help you guys if you have not worn lashes before or if you're struggling to figure out which ones suit your face shape and why certain ones aren't working for you and stuff like that. So I will talk to you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching as always. Bye!